We are the people. Look at this torch. A new revolution is making the Rangers bastards talk. Hot news arriving last minute here at Ibrox. A new polemic is making the web talk and I'm bringing it to you in advance. But first check if you've already left your like so you don't miss out on the next Rangers news and what's happening is as follows. In the thrilling clash between Rangers and Celtic, a true classic of Scottish football, Ibrox witnessed an electrifying match that ended in a 3-3 draw. But it wasn't just the intensity on the pitch that caught the eye. A controversy involving the VAR left fans and commentators Bath, especially former Rangers midfielder Stuart McCall. During a live broadcast on BBC Radio Scotland Sport Sound, McCall expressed his confusion at the VAR's intervention after Serial Dessas scored what would have been Rangers' equaliser, making it 2 to 2. However, referee John Beaton, after being called to the pitch side monitor, disallowed the goal, awarding a free kick in Celtic's favour for a marginal infringement by Tom Lawrence on Tomoki Iwata. My initial reaction was that it could have been a foul, but he missed so many other things, little fouls, trying to keep the game flowing. And then, as soon as his call to the monitor, he gives the foul, said McCall, highlighting the inconsistency in the application of the rules. The game was full of moments that raised questions about refereeing decisions, including a move in which Celtic's Cameron Kartavikas avoided a card despite kicking the ball away from a free kick that he himself had committed. After going 2-0 down thanks to a first half dominated by Celtic, Rangers found the strength to fight back in the second half. James Taverney, recovering from a costly mistake in the opening seconds, narrowed the gap with a penalty. Although Dessa's goal was cancelled out, Abdullah Saima found the equaliser, taking the game to 2-2 with just four minutes remaining. The game didn't stop there. Within a minute, Celtic retook the lead with a goal from Adam Ida, but eight minutes of added time gave Rabbi Matondo the chance to equalise again, which he did with a fine strike, sealing the final 3-3 scoreline in a derby that will live long in the memory of the fans. We saw the passion, the struggle and, of course, the controversy. But the spirit of never giving up on our team is what keeps us coming back, game after game. Now I want to know from you, the fans, what did you think of the VAR decisions? And how do you see the team's performance in this epic battle against our eternal rivals? Leave your comment and let's continue this conversation.